Hello everyone, I represent all our BAMS creations and today I want to show us how to draft a guy got sleeve. A guy got sleeve always have fullness at the upper arm and things down at the elbow. To be able to draft our guy got sleeve, we are going to be showing us two methods. And the methods we are going to be using involve slashing and spreading our pattern. Slash and spread method is a method of adding fullness to our patterns for this draft we are going to be adapting a basic long sleeve draft to draft our guy got sleeve i've already duplicated the pattern i will drop the link on how to draft a basic long sleeve in the description box don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel To be able to draft this guy got sleeve, I'm going to be cutting this sleeve at the elbow. This is the pencil part of the sleeve. There are different ways in which you can draft your guy got sleeve. It can have split at both the upper arm and the elbow line. And you can as well draft it in such a way that it will just have the fullness at the elbow and the upper arm will have little or no fit. So for this one, I'm going to be cutting it at the center. And then I've already slashed my pattern. I'll make sure that the center of my sleeve aligns with the center line that has been drawn. And then I will slash making sure that the center point aligns and then i will spread and when i'm spreading i will make sure that the distance between the two sides okay let me use six inches here i will draw the new line my original length was 14 inches so I'll measure that 14 inches. I can choose to add maybe one or two inches so that it can be a bit puffy at the elbow. So let me have 16 inches. I'll still match it at the edge here. So just to be sure that I have the same. So you can see that the fullness has increased. Together, so we can use this. And when you are close to the edge, you won't put, you won't hard. You make sure that the the gathers you put aligns. I mean, is towards the center. When you are close to the edge. You leave it so that you can have enough fullness here. I'll do it off camera and show you the final outcome of the two guy got sleeve. Second method of doing our guy got sleeve. As usual, we have to mark the center. For the first one, I didn't cut all through, but for this, I'm cutting all through. Let me mark a guide line. I will decide. How many, depending on how much fullness I want, I'll now decide on that. So let me slash it in two places each. That's 33 inches. I will slash these lines and spread. If I choose not to have too much fullness at the armhole area, then I will not slash fully. But I want this to have fullness at both the, the armhole area and the elbow line. So I'm going to be, and I'm going to label it. I will slash it. Mm 
You can spread for as long as you want. But I will still add a little at the upper part so that uh, at least just to give it that uh, puffy effect. I want to match it just to be sure that everything aligns and as you can see there is alignment it's just this side and I'll just trim it off so here is my the part that will be joined to the elbow and then this will join to this so let's join it together I'll be joining it with all this thing and then you will see and you know, when we are close to the to the side here, we will not put any pleating. So let's start here. I can decide to measure maybe like two, one and a half inches that I will not that I will not join with pleating. I'm sorry, the camera stopped while I was uh, stitching it but this is just what I did I left around one and a half inches here like, then I started stitching I stitched it even up to this particular point and then I turned it to the other side you can see the fullness it's so full and uh, by the time we join this other fullness even to our armhole it will really really be full I think I like the fullness but if you like, you can as well choose to add maybe two and a half inches in between your slash line, which will still be beautiful. Thanks for staying to the end. I still remain on Labam Squishions. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Remember, if you are already subscribed, remember to click the notification bell so that you can keep seeing future post when as soon as it drops thank you